Welcome back again with the video number 10 of Oracle Real Application Cluster 19C Lab Setup. So let's check what we have done so far. We can see here that we have done the most major things here. Now we reach to set up grid infrastructure with ASM. So let's proceed to the virtual machine to have this step done as well. So before we proceed to the installation, let us just first check what the file is required from us to download to be able to install and configure Oracle Real Application Cluster. The first one, we need the database home, which is 19.3 Linux. And this is binary is for Linux and it's also for 64-bit architecture. The same for the grid. Here we have PSU, which is 19.15 for both grid, home, grid and uh, database. Here the, we have O patch. This O patch we need to upgrade the O patch from here to the to this version to be able to patch. So those files are required. But mainly we start moving the first one, the grid home and O, o patch and the, the PSU for the first node. How we can move the files and how also we can connect to the both nodes from my, our main host, especially if you have Windows or Linux like mine right now. So if you want to configure the SSH. We can do it right now by access the Oracle VM uh, Virtual Box Manager and from the file here, preferences. From the preferences, we will go to the network. You can see here the public NAT. You can see here that I'm using this public NAT for the, for the first adapter. Okay, so let's check the properties here and let's check also this. I will click on port forwarding. Let's see what I have done here to be able to connect. I name this uh, first port forwarding SSH node one. That's mean allow me to SSH from my local host, which is Pop OS to the second node using, uh, to the first node, sorry, uh, to the port 22 using 2122. So if I hit the local host with the port 2122, it will, the connection will be forwarded to the first node to the SSH. The same for the second node, but the port will be 2222. It will forward the connection to the second node to the SSH, which is the port 22. So how we can test if we are listening for those ports, we can hit SS in Linux minus ALNT and grip. And then I will grip those ports. We can see here in your case, if you have windows, you can use netstat search the internet. There is a lot of couple examples. It will show you how you can uh, list. Now, let me just uh, test the SSH paste like this then enter the password okay i'm able to connect let's test the second node but just only change two enter the password we can see here that's also i'm able to connect to the second node now i can use scp like this command to move the files i did this one already so to save the time so i will ssh minus p 21 to 22 like this for the and also I will use minus X. This one will allow me to run a graphical user interface GUI on my terminal from my remote uh, connection to the, this server to first node. So using this option, it will allow me to run the graphical user interface from this node rack one. So let me just uh, CD U01 show you the binary that I am I upload already. You can see here that we have here the files already. So I can right now proceed to the next step. So now we need to unzip the files to the grid home. So let me just first echo this one. Yeah, we can see that we have this grid home uh, uh, variable is set. So let's just ls. We can see this file we need to unzip it. So let's do that using unzip. Then this file minus d. That means the directory where you want to unzip this uh, file. I will use it to the uh, grid home. I will hit enter. The grid home uh, binary are right now there. So let's uh, clear the screen. So we see that the unzip process is finished. CD dollar Oracle home. Let's check. You can see here that everything is fine. We have all the files here. We need we need right now to remove or move this directory, which is called called O patch which is this one, I need to move it, to rename it to something backup because I need to unzip the O patch. So I will create a, a new O patch directory from this one. So this will unzip this file 
okay and it will be located here in this directory in current directory that i'm working here you can see here there's the grid home or patch okay ls minus l era you can see here that the o patch is created with the new version let's check so dollar then version we can see here that the version is 30 which is good now i back to the u01 let's do ls now i need to decompress this file to unzip it here to the local uh, directory so i will do it for dash d slash u01 so uh, unzipped here to the current directory so now we have done from this we can see that there is a directory created here under u01 this we will use it to batch the grid infrastructure to be able to create the asm disks now we need to configure the passwordless connection between rack 1 and rack 2 we're using the grid user so how to do this using ssh dash keygen then minus t rsa hit enter 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 and enter again now the same ssh keygen minus t rsa enter 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 now let's copy the ssh id from the row rack one like this sorry it will be like two like this yes enter the password the same here yes password clear and let's clear here so if i do ssh rack two yes i can see here that i'm connected to the rack two exit if i do rack two dot rack domain because i'm using rack domain i i log in here to the second node automatically okay so now let's check from this node ssh rack one yes will ask me to add this for known host yes now i'm connect from rack two to rack one exit this connect to rack domain like this yep everything is fine here right now we have passwordless connection between rack one and rack two so once we finish the copying of the file from our host to the uh, virtual machine or the operating system that we need to install a uh, grid infrastructure on top of it so we need to run uh, a script that is in the grid home called run clovy.sh this will help us to just uh, have a clear id before start the installation to just check exactly the crs installation if there is any warning or any recommendation or prerequisites not met the uh, grid infrastructure installation steps so let's run this one it will prompt for us this one will prompt for us a password root password we need to provide like this then hit enter we can see here that the script is have done so we can see here the failure only on both nodes for the physical memory which is it's uh, it's okay but in your environment i i am sure if it's production it will be more than 8 gb at least 16 or to 30 for 32 uh, gb or 64 gb which is um, it, this will be pass but for me because i don't have enough uh, resource enough memory so i can ignore this one for right now and uh, in the bottom here you can see that we have the summary so we don't have anything um, give a warning or anything so all the check is passed now we reach to the installation as you can see here i am in the first node which is rack one and i'm login and also i am inside the operating system in the virtual uh, box which is the virtual machine so let's proceed first we need to set some values for uh, the parameter this parameter okay so as you can see here it's oel 7.9 nice so let me right now clear the screen now we need to run the another command so this command will uh, grid set up so we'll we will set up the grid uh, infrastructure with asm but also we need to apply bsu during the installation that's mean we need to install and batch with the latest batch we have here 
So let's run this one and we wait. So as we can see here, that's this window will raise up for us, but we can see here that the uh, batch applied successfully and everything is fine. So before we proceed with the installation, we need to configure the uh, OCR or CRS disk. And this will hold the information of the cluster or resource of the cluster or the cluster resource. So let me just proceed with this one. I have here a new terminal as a root user so now we need to proceed with the disk initialization so I'm using here AFD which is uh, ASM filter disk I need to configure it using this one and be careful we need the batch to be able to configure using this one if you don't have the batch here you cannot later on I will show you how we can configure it without this batch and maybe I will add another video um to show you how you can do this so as you can see here i source the grid environment variables and then i also export the base to be as a temp folder then i will initiate then i will initialize the uh the disk so i will use sdc1 to be crs1 then i will hit enter like this so if we do asm cmd then uh, afd underscore ls label like this and then dev sdc we can see here that this disk is created successfully and everything is fine nice so let's proceed with the installation as you can see here i have the window so let's proceed next select the configure oracle uh, standalone cluster next keep things here as uh, as is in, in case if you change anything or you have different name please add it here this should be registered in the in your uh, dns next here we need to add the second node rack2 dot rack domain dot com and here rack2 dash vib dot rack domain.com okay and next now we need to specify the network interface usage so the first one we agree that it will be a public the second one will be a private but here because also i will configure asm so we will put asm and the private both of them to have the same uh, network uh, subnet and the same adapter okay so let's proceed next now here we will use flex asm for storage next next keep it no here for the asm here you should pick configure oracle asm filter drive driver so here i will name it crs1 then pick this one and put external so that's it so here if you cannot find anything because you don't have this patch and you didn't apply it but for me, uh, later on, I will show you how you can apply the same things with the UDEV rule uh, in case if you, if you cannot uh, configure it with the ASM filter drive. Here we will set the password. Try to put password that you are able to memorize it. Then press next. Okay, keep the default. Keep the default here. Check everything is fine and the... Uh, yeah asm db think is fine next here everything is fine here the location should be yes exactly here and the oracle base nice the oracle inventory and the group name is o install nice now we don't want to run automatic we will run it manually so next so we can see here that the prerequisites the prerequisite checks is finished so we can ignore those errors and uh, information sorry warnings and information so we can click here ignore and proceed with the next but if you have anything here like a failure or anything you need to figure out what's the issue and try to fix it but here the warning and info we can ignore it here it will show you the summary and we can right now proceed with the install this installation window will pop up and you can right now wait until this one finish So we reach right now to this step. So we need to have the both nodes uh, root user. So we need to apply those scripts. 
So let's start with the first one. But let me first uh, start with the first node. Let me copy this one. Control V, Enter. Then apply this one. Now we need to apply this script, the root to search on the first node first. Let me just do it here on the first node. As you can see here, it's root user with the rack one. Hit enter. Enter. We need to wait right now. So the root.sh is uh, run and finished successfully. And we can see here that the configure grid infrastructure for, for a cluster succeeded. So that's mean the configuration and everything is done. So let's run the same script on the second node as what this window tell us to do for the rack one, then rack two. So let's do it here as well. Yep, yes. As we can see here, the second script is finished. We can see here that the configure Oracle grid infrastructure for cluster succeeded. We see here we have issues, um, error. We will check it later. It's related to the domain name and uh, these things. I will check the things, but uh, let's proceed right now with the installation. We can see here that we have here, I will press OK to continue the installation. We can see here that the grid uh, infrastructure for cluster was successful. So that's mean we have done. So we can right now close. Now how we can check that everything is fine and we don't have any issue. So we can do like this. Let me just clear the screen here. CRS CTL stat res minus T and let's check we can see here that the cluster is online and everything is fine. Let's also check PS minus EF grip bemon. Let's check also. Yeah, we can see here that the ASM here also is um, is uh, mounted. Dash V capital. We can see also that it's 19.15. It's also a best practice to check the log files to find any uh, error or any uh, anything you may uh, able to fix later on before you make it as a production environment that's it for this video so hope see you next video thank you for watching have a good day